So you know what awaits you in this film uh, it's not gonna be a lot of cycling because uh, we're cycling to San Jose now which will be after today three more days it's the capital of Costa Rica and then we leave our bikes there meet Toby's friends who will, will arrive next week and then we're gonna do a road trip through Costa Rica for two weeks yes oh we're so looking forward to that it's gonna be so so cool and such a nice change to do something else to do some sightseeing chilling sitting in a car with AC <laughs> yeah so yeah but we're gonna do some pretty cool stuff so yeah it's gonna be two nice weeks and then after that, we will fly to Colombia from San Jose. Our first rain in Costa Rica is starting. And that's great because it's way too hot. That was so cool. We just stopped at a little bakery to yeah, get some breakfast. And while eating, four big aras came. And one man even gave us some cookies to feed them. That was so cool. They were so close and they're just so big. <laughs> that, yeah, so that's how we imagined Costa Rica. <laughs> So cool. These last two cycling days to San Jose are such a test of the mind. It's incredible. We are so ready for a break. And we're just in any way trying to motivate ourselves to just push on two more days through the intense heat and mountains now. Oh. the last day um, and it's gonna be a hard day because we have about 1500 meters to climb and uh, it's not that far but yeah just I guess it's gonna be steep 
but then we will have done it and tomorrow we um, still need to pack our bikes um, for the flight which leaves after Toby's friends left again we have to do some other stuff and then vacation two weeks nice yeah we can't wait yeah, to arrive yeah, so in summer, ready. So. <laughs> All right, let's go yes let's go It's just incredible how steep some of these parts are. It's like easily as steep as Guatemala. Easily. Oh my god. This mountain is literally never ending. And I have no idea where I'm pulling these energy reserves from. Maybe just because it's the thought of almost being there. Oh. Oh, I think we might be at the top. And the view is really nice, actually. But we're not done with the climbing for today because it's just going to continue up and down the whole day, I think. It just doesn't stop going uphill. Oh, man. from the destination we're already a bit annoyed because of all the traffic now coming closer to the city and because we've been climbing all day and it's so exhausting and now just and Toby's back tire is flat was one of the hardest days we've had so far. It was so much climbing and it just no. felt like it would never end. And also all this thought in, our, in the back of our minds just of vacation. holidays, yeah. vacation. Um, so that made it harder. But now we're here at our host's place um, and yeah, we're gonna pack the bikes tomorrow. Yeah, and we just wanna, so today we cycled almost 70 kilometers. But what was absolutely terrible, we did almost 1700 meters of climbing, which is just crazy. Especially yesterday, I really did 1100. Mm -hmm. So that's almost like three kilometers in the last two days. And we're so dead. We're so dead, and we're so ready for vacation. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Everything is packed and ready to stay here with our host and it's yeah it's great it's really awesome it worked out pretty well so we're now at the airport and hopefully picking up Rohan and Gal <laughs>
try it. Oh, it closes. So after we spent the first two nights, or last two nights, near Puerto Viejo in the o Manzanillo in the south, uh, on the southern Caribbean coast of Costa Rica, we now went, took a one hour boat ride to um, Tortuguero National Park where we will stay for another two nights. And yeah, so far it's been pretty cool. We've seen a bunch of wildlife and really nice beaches in uh, Manzanillo. In Manzanillo and Puerto Viejo and yeah, it was pretty cool. Now we yeah. hope to see some more wildlife, especially because this is so off. This is like really a bit more isolated. It's touristy, but a bit more isolated just because you have to, there's no roads here. You have to go here by boat, which is pretty cool. Yeah.
so we are just hiking through the cloud forest here in Monte Verde, but not the main cloud forest, well it's the same forest, but through the main national park, but through the La Reserva Bosque Nuboso, which is a smaller one um, next to it. And um, we're really loving it here. It's probably our favorite hike we've done in all of Costa Rica now, because uh, mainly it's so empty. There are hardly any tourists and it's a really cool trail that's not been prepared too nicely. So it's still in a very raw condition, which is, just makes the experience a bit more adventurous. And uh, yeah, it's really, really cool. And not so easy in some parts because it's really muddy. <laughs> But it's, yeah, the cloud forest is incredible. starting which means we're gonna leave Costa Rica soon and starting a new chapter in South America which we're really excited about um, yeah but before we get on the plane we wanted to say some last words to Costa Rica and um, it is a beautiful country a beautiful rainforest and amazing wildlife and it's kind of guaranteed that you see some animals um, and very close actually um, beautiful beaches, so it, it's really nice here, but unfortunately It's a shame that everything kind of costs money and it's very commercial like you yes. feel like it's gonna be a nice eco-tourism experience which it is but then you have Huge resorts and everything is yes. in our opinion way overpriced um, of course. That's also because we um, uh, yeah, now traveled with a car, so only went to the more touristy places mm. and we probably would have discovered it completely different and without that many national parks, um, just by cycling the country. But yeah, um, I guess think? that's our call. Yes, <laughs> we should go. <laughs> so, see you in Colombia. <laughs>